Another minute, let me hold you. You might be late for work, that's okay. Every day I get to know you and all your flaws. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am feeling pretty ambitious today. Today is Valentine's Day, but my husband is working late, so we have the whole day to just chill at home. We're gonna do homeschooling, we're gonna do cleaning. So I wanna try to film a cleaning video and then like a homeschool routine video. So if you see me in the same outfit, that's why I'm feeling a little ambitious. We'll see how that works out. I woke up with a headache. So I'm trying to drink some water, drink some coffee, get it out of my system, clean up, and take you guys with us. I hope you enjoy. And I promise it's the morning. That clock is going to be showing that time forever because we never change the batteries. I'm just keeping it up for decorative purposes until we get uh, either batteries or a new clock because it's cracked at the bottom. So we are just keeping it up and it's fine. It works. I ended up getting all the duvet covers off and the pillowcases to wash. Give it a little refresh. In the meantime, I'm putting away loads of laundry. I have another one in the washer and then another one in the dryer. So I'm going to be doing laundry all day, but in the meantime, I think it's no deep cleaning or anything, but we're just doing daily tasks and keeping up with the house today. Um, like I mentioned, I want to make uh, another video with our homeschooling routine, so I'm juggling all that. And then my daughter woke up complaining of a tummy ache. So I am just praying it's not that bug where she's throwing up and everything, but we will see. Just take it easy today. I ended up cleaning out the air vent and then cleaning up all this dust. You should have seen how packed in there it was. I am just shocked that it even built up so fast. But it was like clogged so I used a q-tip to scrape it down and then I used a brush and then it all just fell out so it's fine now. I wiped it down afterward but it was just such a, you know, like flying down everywhere like a rain of dust. Moving on to our room, this room gets so dusty so fast. I wipe it like not even two, three days. It's horrible. And then right here between the bed, like the nightstand and the bed, it was just piled with dust and like, I don't even know what it was. It was just like thick dust. And so I wiped that down real quick. I guess I just missed those spots since we don't see them until I take off the covers and everything and like wash everything. So I'm wiping it down. Wiping down our mirrors, um, even the window, like you can't see it on camera, but it had like little, I guess our doggy's little um, nose because she likes to jump up and look out and then Milo opens the window and her little handprints there, just brushing everything down, not brushing, wiping everything down. Oh my goodness. So I told Milo to clean her room. This is her cleaning her room. She's not feeling too good right now. Her tummy hurts. So I need to do my mommy duty and pick it up myself because if she's feeling crummy. There's no way she'll be able to do anything either way. And I think the best thing I could do for her is have a clean room so she can just relax here, get better. So I'm going to tackle this mess right now.
Does anybody have any suggestions for getting Sharpie out of a white desk? I have Sharpie marks, I have paint marks, mm, even markers, not the washable ones. So they are like on caked on. I used the pink stuff, I used like that, um, I think it's called Ajax, that powder and like with some Clorox and scrubbed it. And it would help a little bit, but then it would remove the actual paint from the desk so I have no idea any tips let me know alrighty it's not perfect but it's better than it was and I'm doing all her laundry so it's nice and fresh and clean but I think it's better picked up than what it was Okay, I did say this clock isn't working, but now that I'm watching all these clips back, those things are moving. So I'm thinking there is a battery, it's just off because I never use it to tell time. And that time is definitely not right. Hmm. Okay, I think we need either new batteries, a whole new clock, or our clock has a mind of its own because it's changing and moving drastically. So today's Valentine's Day, but I'm just going to undecorate this Valentine's Day tree and then a couple of days go and get St. Patrick's stuff and come over Valentine's Day. It's been on for over a month. I think it's safe to say that we celebrated to the fullest and it's time for it to go. I think I'm going to keep the pink, um, not only for St. Patrick's Day, but for like Easter when I do Easter tree. So I'm going to put the white pinks together. And then the dark pinks, uh, I think we'll use it, well, maybe next year or something. But other than that, all this stuff, I'm just going to take down and leave the white ornaments up because those are universal for all the holidays, I think. And I think the short these were so cute. While I'm in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this area down. I don't know if this is supposed to work. My neighbor gave me some of the stems. She trimmed hers down and it's supposed to make them grow when they're in the water. Well, I have those stems, but my daughter took the leaves and she put them in water. Does it work to make roots? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. We'll see if it works, but it's hers and She's very proud of it, but let's wipe this area down real quick. And then I think I'm gonna call it a day for cleaning uh, and just go and cuddle with my baby because she's not feeling too good and just wants mommy to cuddle with her. And truth be told, I'm not feeling too motivated anymore to do any cleaning. It's hard when your child is not feeling good to be, you know, moving around doing anything and being productive when all you care about is their well-being and how they're feeling in the moment. So we scrapped the homeschooling day. We did history and we did uh, handwriting and reading and then she wasn't feeling so good. So we will do it another day. The rest of the um, like lessons and everything will just pick up whenever she's feeling better. But for today, I managed to do the bedding and all that, wipe some stuff down, undecorated this Valentine's tree. So I think that should be more than enough. And now we're just gonna take it easy. Thank you for joining us and I'll see you guys next time.